Hi, I'm Matt from East Bears, and today I'm going to be showing you how to replace the fan oven element in this NEF built-in cooker. Safety first. Always disconnect the appliance from the mains before starting any work. You'll know that your element has gone if you can hear the fan motor at the back whirring, but your oven simply isn't getting hot. Let's start by removing the door for easy access. Now, this particular NEF oven door is removed by simply flicking these holding catches over and lifting out. Other makes of oven have different release mechanisms. Some have a catch on the hinge that you need to turn. Others require a pin or nail to be inserted through a hole in the hinge, which locks the mechanism and allows you to lift the door away from the oven. And there's your door released, like so. Right, let's start by removing these oven shelves so I can get in there. These shelves are also available at the eSpares.co.uk website, as well as this handy electric screwdriver, which I'll be using to remove the back plate. This one is a Phillips screwdriver head, although other models may vary. Once the screws are removed, this back plate simply lifts up and falls away. Here's the element. As you can see, it's attached by three screws, two at the top, one at the side there. I'll start by removing these screws. Once the screws are removed, I can simply pull the element away from the back of the oven, exposing the connection wires behind. As you can see, the wires are now exposed at the back of the oven. Now, it is essential that these wires go onto the new element exactly the same way they went on the old element. To help me do this, I have some colour-coded stickers, which I will attach to the wire. Like so, helping me to identify them. Also, take a quick snap on the camera phone so that I have a permanent record. Now, simply detach the wires. Like so. So that the element is free. Place it with the new element. reattaching the wires. Once the element is reattached to the wires, simply feed those wires through the back of the appliance. It can be quite stiff. Then all we have to do is reattach the screws. Same as we did before. And then all we need to do is replace the back plate. Now, this oven is in a bit of a state. It's quite filthy. But obviously that can be sorted out by using a non-caustic oven cleaner. Again, this is available at the eSpares.co.uk website. Right, let's put the door back on. To replace the door, simply do the reverse of removing the door. Locate the hinges like so. Put the folding catches back up, and there you are. That's the element done. You can also see me in another video showing you how to replace the most common parts in this oven door. Remember, these spares and accessories are available on the eSpares.co.uk website, as well as spares and accessories for over 500 brands of home appliance. Thanks for watching.